Okay, today we're going to talk about steady state vector, which pretty much says that P, Q, if P, Q equals Q, then Q is the steady state vector, which pretty much means that we have to find a vector Q that if we multiply by P, we're still going to get back Q. And this deals with stochastic matrices. And pretty much every stochastic matrix has a steady state vector. Stochastic meaning that the entries here add up to 1. It's a probability. So we have like, for example, we have like 0.9, we have 0.1, we have 0.7, we have 0.3. These two add up to 1, and these two add up to 1. So therefore it's a stochastic matrix. And the entries can't be negative. So we're going to do a simple problem finding the steady state vector. We have P equals point 0.1, point 0.6, point 0.9, and point 0.4. And as you can see, this is a stochastic matrix because 0.9 plus 0.1 is 1, 0.6 plus 0.4 is 1, 2. So first we have to solve this equation where we have P of X equals X. Earlier on we called X cubed. I'm just using, I'm just using the symbol X now. So I'm going to subtract X by both sides. That equals 0. If I factor out an X, I get P minus 1 equals 0 where the 1 over here is simply the identity matrix which for us is going to be a 2 by 2 matrix so using this information over here this tells us that we have to subtract this by the identity matrix so let me go ahead and erase this you can go back and look at it so I'm going to say minus 1, 0, 0, 1. When we do this, we get 0 0.1 minus 1 is negative 0 0.9. Then we get 0 0.6 minus 0 is still just 0 0.6. Then we get 0 0.9 minus 0, which is still 0 0.9. Then we get 0 0.4 minus 1, which is negative 0 0.6. So this over here is our P minus our identity matrix. Okay, from here, let me go ahead and erase this top part. We wrote, the equation was this. So it's, it's like a homogeneous equation, we're setting it equal to zero. So, if I do this, I call this x1, x2, this is equal to 0, 0. Okay, now if you remember how you solve this kind of a system, you have to place the zeros over here and row reduce. Now I'm going to assume you already know how to row reduce this elementary matrix. So when you do row reduce it, you get this. The answer here. You get 1, negative 2 third, 0. You simply just get zeros on the bottom. So let me go ahead and erase this. So we got that it was, when we reduced it, we got it's 1, negative 2 third, 0, and we got 0, 0, 0. Okay, from here, we have to find a basis for the column space. So in order to do that, we have to write this in vector form. As we can see here, our x2 is free 
the free variable can be whatever. And our x1 equals 2 third x2. So if I write this in vector form, it's going to be x2 2 third and 1. Okay, from here, you have to divide each entry, each component, by the total number of entries in our original matrix, which was 4 because it was a 2 by 2 matrix. But what we can do here to make our lives easier is we can multiply this by a number to, to get whole numbers, to get integers. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply this by 3. When I do that, I get 3 times 2 is 6, divided by 3 is 2, and I get 3. So I'm going to use this over here. Now, let me go ahead and erase this information over here. So I got x to this when I multiplied it by 3. Okay, so from here, I, as I said earlier, we had a 2 by 2 matrix in the beginning. So I'm going to divide each component by 4. Because 2 plus 2 is 4. So you're going to get 2 over 4 and 3 over 4. So therefore, this is called the steady state vector. And the reason being that if we multiply this number, I mean this matrix, which we're going to call Q by our original P, so PQ, we will still get Q back, which pretty much is a proof of why we're correct. Okay. I hope this makes some sense. Thank you for watching. See you guys later.